I didn't think it would have such a wide repercussion. It's had tremendous repercussion in Italy, for example, where it's been published in Italy. The Bishop of Genoa set up a commission of inquiry because he was angry that I talked about the, the Catholic Church in Genoa assisting Nazi war criminals. It had a very wide impact in, in Britain. In, in Germany, it's provoked a very wide debate about how many criminals actually escaped to Argentina and whether there was actually an organization in place or not. Um, so I'm very surprised by the, the tremendous impact it's had, but of course I realize now it's because there had been no, no, no serious study into this before. There were novels, there was Hollywood, there were rumors, nobody had gone and dug through the files and dug through the archives. And I was very lucky because I'm in Argentina, so I had access to documents that nobody had ever seen before, migration documents, uh, legal documents, foreign ministry documents. I often went to archives here in Argentina and the archive director would rush up to me and say, thank God at last somebody's come because here I've had all these documents regarding this and nobody had ever come to look at them. And that's because of the lack of interest here in the subject because of the connection with Peronism. But also I was lucky, fortunate enough that I arrived at it at the you know, mid-1990s, late 1990s when Documents were being opened in Belgium, in Switzerland, in the United States. I obtained some documents that hadn't been opened through the Freedom of Information Act. So I, you know, it was a mixture of arriving at the time when documents were being opened that hadn't been opened before, and the fact that I could approach it both as a as a foreigner and as an Argentine.